Jeremy Clarkson has reflected on the alarming idea of students throwing the entire National History Museum into the River Thames. This article contains affiliate links. We may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more. Clarkson's Farm presenter Jeremy Clarkson spoke about his concerns for the Natural History Museum in a recent column. The farming star spoke about the way he felt young people were treating historical artifacts under the title, We Can't Rewrite History. Jeremy, 61, spoke about his admiration for the London landmark in a column for The Sun. He wrote, I have always believed that the Natural History Museum in London is the most jaw-dropping building in the entire world. But when I drove past it this week, I was struck by the alarming fact that it was built in Victorian times by a country which had become rich thanks in no small part to the slave trade. There's not much we can do about that today, however, except hope and pray that some students don't come in the night and throw it into the River Thames. The former Top Gear presenter, went on to joke that Stonehenge would face the same fate as the statue of Edward Colston did in Bristol during lockdown. They could probably lob Stonehenge in there too, on the basis those enormous rocks were not carried from Wales to Wiltshire by people who were paid a living wage. Jeremy continued. And, in light of what happened after a statue was thrown into Bristol Harbour recently, it would all be fully legal. In June 2020, the statue of Edward Colston was hurled into the harbour as part of an anti-racism protest. The bronze of Colston, a 17th-century slave trader, was dragged through the streets of the city, triggering a national conversation on the legacy of Britain's colonial past. The protests were part of the much larger Black Lives Matter movement, which swept over the world that summer following the unjust killing of George Floyd. Floyd was an African-American man who was murdered by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota on May 25, 2020. Derek Chauvin, one of four police officers who arrived on the scene, knelt on Floyd's neck and back for 9 minutes and 29 seconds. After his murder, protests about police brutality against black people and racially motivated crimes in general spread across the USA and subsequently the UK. Floyd's dying words, I can't breathe, became a rallying cry for the movement and were chanted by protesters fighting for racial equality. The debate around slave trader Colston became contentious in the UK as some Bristolians were injured that a historic statue had been torn down. Bristol Mayor Marvin Rees said he felt no sense of loss about the statue's fate. Speaking to BBC News, he said, I can't and won't pretend the statue of a slave trader in a city I was born and grew up in wasn't an affront to me and people like me. People in Bristol who don't want that statue in the middle of the city came together, and it is my job to unite, hear those voices and hold those truths together for people for whom that statue is a personal affront. Rees said the statue will likely be recovered from the harbour, at some point, and placed in a museum alongside protesters' posters. Since then, the damaged and graffitied statue has been displayed at the M. Shed Museum in Bristol alongside placards from the protest on June 7, 2020 and a timeline of events.